Hey guys, so some of you might have seen that I recently posted online uh, that I was working on some lightning experience updates for some clients of mine and a lot of folks have reached out to me through private messaging, essentially asking for me to share some wisdom and insights expertise on how to transition organizations over from classic to lightning experience, especially for Salesforce admins. It could be very intimidating, really overwhelming to try to take in all of the features and options that are available in lightning experience. So I created this quick video just to show a couple of small, easy, quick wins and demonstrating the power of flexibility uh, that we have as Salesforce admins when setting up Salesforce for any organization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the webcam and flip the screen, show you my screen and walk you through a couple of different things. So let's go. So here we are looking at a, this is a developer org, by the way, it's an org that I use for demonstration purposes and for training purposes. So all of the records, all of the data that we see here is completely fake. So we're looking at a fictitious record of Barney Rubble. This is simulating that it's for a nonprofit. It's a, so it's a nonprofit org um, where we are, we are tracking opportunities, really our donations, different types of donations. Uh, and what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to show you how we can, first of all, you can see that we have different tabs over here. So uh, there's the details tab where I can see uh, details regarding the attributes of the contact and the related lists are essentially broken down into these different sub tabs. One for donations, which shows me not only opportunities, but also recurring donations. And then we have another one for, ca for campaigns and another one for relationships, which shows relationships not only with, uh, other organiz with organizations. So for example, we have Barney Rubble, for those of you who are not familiar with the nonprofit uh, features, we have Barney Rubble tracking him as an individual of the Barney Rubble household, but we can also track Barney Rubble as it relates to his uh, employment with uh, Bedrock Inc., or maybe he's on the board of a particular company or was previously on the board of a particular company. We can track all of those organization affiliations as well as the relationships. Actually, let me just show you uh, one of the relationships right here. Let's just establish one because uh, we don't have for his wife, Betty. So let's put in Betty Rubble and the relationship is that it's his wife, current, hit save. And we can see over here, let me, if I zoom out a little bit, we can see over here, Betty Rubble is Barney Rubble's wife. And it gives me the reciprocal relationship. By the way, the, what I'm showing you right now, this happens to be standard nonprofit features, has really nothing to do with uh, Lightning Experience, but we can see the reciprocal relationship with Betty Rubble. And it shows that Barney Rubble is um, Betty's spouse. Um, so what I'd really like to show you here is, okay, this is pretty cool that with Lightning Experience we have all of these sub-tabs, but on the flip side, it sort of gives the end user the uh, burden of having to click through all of these different sub-tabs to, uh, to get a sense of all of the different related records that we have on any particular contact. Wouldn't it be cool if we can have similar to in Classic that we can have uh, quick links, like hyperlinks to quickly see all of the related records that exist on this particular object. So we're going to, that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now. So let's go ahead and click on the little gear icon and then go to edit page. The screen is going to refresh and as soon as it does, we're going to see on the left hand side over here, we could see that there is a lightning experience component called related list quick links. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, lightning experience component and I'm going to drag it to the upper portion of the screen. Now the truth is we can place it pretty much wherever we want but uh, I prefer to place it right here right underneath the contacts name right underneath the highlights panel over here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it up here and let go and the screen's going to update and why did it not take? Did I not drop it in place? Here we go. So now we can see that it's appearing and similar to classic where we have the hyperlinks and once I hit save, I'll show you how we can hover over any of these hyperlinks in order to see all of the related records and create new records, etc. 
Now, wouldn't it also be cool if while I am, so imagine I'm an employee at this nonprofit and I'm working with, I'm doing some fundraising with this contact of Betty Rubble, wouldn't it be awesome if I could see not only the individual line item records uh, of the opportunities, her donation history, but if I can also see it graphically in a trending way to see gra the graphical history of all of the donations that she's given to date. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So on the left hand side over here we can see of the lightning uh, experience components one of them is report chart. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it for now let's go ahead and just put it over here. And once I place it on here we can see that there is a control panel on the right hand side. And using this control panel I can select exactly which report is going to be displayed. So if I scroll down over here I'll find that I have a report that I created called opportunity donor trending history. Now if I go ahead and select that, by default it's going to show me all of the opportunities that are in the entire database that I have access to see. That's not really what I want. I want this to be filtered to show only the opportunities that relate to this contact of Betty Rubble. So I can see over here on the right hand side we have an option where it says filter by and there's a drop down where it says none. If I go ahead and click on that we can see that one of the other options is contact ID. If I select that the preview automatically updates and it shows me that one opportunity that Betty Rubble has. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and do something else. We all know what it's like as a Salesforce admin, we all know what it's like when an end user uh, looks at a particular report or dashboard and there's no data there and they feel that it's an error. Well wouldn't it be awesome if we can hide this tile entirely from the screen if there are no opportunities. So we're going to use the feature over here where it says set component visibility in order to make this dynamic. We're going to click on the button where it says add filter. And now we're going to go here and choose from this drop down. We're going to go to a field called total gifts. And once I find that field called total gifts, I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to choose for the logic, I'm going to choose is greater than zero. And immediately I can see that there is an orange icon over here indicating that this is there is a dynamic filter applied to this particular tile. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now let's go back to that Betty Rubble record. And as soon as it comes back, come on, as soon as it comes back we are going to see the related list over here, and okay, it's not all that sexy. We only have one opportunity here that for Betty Rubble, that's closed one. And we can see the trending history. Okay, there's not a whole lot to see. Um, but let's go to another record where there's a little bit more to see. Let's go to Betty Rubble's husband, Barney. And how do we do that? Well, we could do it in a couple of different ways. We can just click on this arrow and go to recent records of Barney Rubble. We could have searched for it. We could have clicked under relationships and then gone to Barney Rubble. But here we can see that Barney has three opportunities and only two of them have been closed one. One is we're still prospecting. So two have been closed once. I can see that as line items right here. I can also see it if I go to donations. I can see the exact same data right over here. But I can also see the trending history where this is showing me only those opportunities that have been closed, closed one. It's, uh, I can see that right here. And if I click view report, it's going to take me to the underlying report that's automatically filtered for that particular record. So I can see even more details if I need to regarding those specific opportunities. Now regarding that a dynamic filtering that I showed you earlier. Let's go to our buddy Fred Flintstone. Now Fred has yet to donate anything to this particular organization. So when we look at Fred Flintstone's record, we're going to see that Fred doesn't have any opportunities. And lo and behold, Fred also does not have that graphic summary appearing right here because we put that dynamic filter in order to hide it when there are no opportunities, no gifts. Now just to confirm over here, if I scroll down a little bit and if I look for that field of total gifts, I can see that it's zero. There's nothing in here, which is why that tile is not appearing. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, uh, go ahead and click like, feel free to share it, tag other people that you think can benefit from this, and have an awesome day.